Who doesn't love a good challenge? Even better when that challenge is for a great cause. Yeah, there's a new challenge going around our area looking to raise some money for Daystar. Doug was challenged and he doesn't back down. Oh gosh, no, no. He's no. accepted. Oh, and uh, exacted on all of our behalves. And Ashley, who's right over there, is helping him this morning. Oh, hi, morning. Ashley. Oh, hi. What are you doing oh, here? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Yeah. I, I, I just figured I would come out here and start in here. I never get to see you guys. So I figured I'd start in here to show everybody we are right here in our studio. But we are going to be going just out in our hallway here. You get a little behind the scenes peek at what we what our studio is like every day here. So we are going to be using this hallway uh, all the way, pretty much all the way down the there, past where it says exit on that green uh, wall about there, all the way down, all the way down, 40 yards, all the way down to here. Uh, again, so Doug was challenged, and we all get challenged when Doug gets challenged. So I've marked it out, and I learned just how big 140 yards is a lot, Doug Emblidge. So 40 this is yards, 120, <laughs> 120 feet, yeah, 40 yards. yards. This can't that far. Okay. Well, maybe, but here's going to be start or finish line to be determined yet. So. This is where we're gonna go, and then all the way down the hall. Are you ready? Are you stretching? You got your knee ready? Done stretching. Done stretching. <laughs> okay, so uh, Doug was challenged by two people. Mm -hmm. So you are going to have paychecks, and Diction Schwab will challenge you. So you're gonna be running a race, actually, at 7.30. Are you ready? I'm, uh, Mike Schwab and I will be going side by side. If you want down this hallway, we can do that. It could get rough. Could get good TV. Yeah. Could okay. Be very good TV. Well, a bunch of us are going to run. I'm going to run. I think Jen's going to run. We've got some folks from sales going to run. So uh, I'm to be determined if I run in heels or not. We'll see. It might add to the challenge. You should run this way because that way it ends at the general manager's <laughs> office, as so many things do. <laughs> we'll do that. Yeah. And we're all raising money for Daystar, so it's all for a great cause. So stick around all morning as we start dashing for Daystar here at Channel 13. You ready? You ready? Yep. Mark. Oh, get, get set. Go. Not yet. Hang on. Okay. Well, yeah. yes. Okay. Hey, the Ice Bucket Challenge raised, uh, raised millions for ALS research. Now a local organization is starting its own movement to raise money for medically fragile children in our area. Yeah. Dashing for Daystar has already raised more than $8,000 for the organization. Yeah, you're on TV, morning. Norma. Yeah. <laughs> We're, you know, those of us here, including Norma, looking to help that total grow. I think she's talking some trash. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. They're still tossing to yeah. Norma was already counting me down. Hold on. We're, the, the, we may be right next to you guys, but there's a, it's weird how we like are good. Okay, so we were talking about Daystar, dashing for Daystar, and this is the start line we determined. Okay, I, I think I'm ready. I'm going in my heels. The doors the train is leaving the station in five, four, three, two, one, go! In heels, ladies and gentlemen, in heels! Whoa! Woo! How'd I do? 9.96 seconds. 9.96 seconds! <laughs> <laughs> I just said it <laughs> And that's, I did wear them. <laughs> in high heels. That's pretty, that's, she's not lying. That's pretty good. Check that out. That's pretty good. Totally impressed. <laughs> totally I, impressed. I don't run. Look you at can, you, you're not even really, you're not even really out of breath. I don't. I'm out of breath watching. I can't wait for Emblitch to run. I'm telling you, I don't think, Doug, can you beat this in high heels? I don't know. I, I told him I'd let him borrow probably mine. Probably not. He can, I'm, he can I'm, do that. I'm yeah. wearing my heels, though. <laughs> I He's wearing his heels, he says. So. Oh, I can confirm. <laughs> I mean, it's Monday. He always does it. Monday. Can, can, <laughs> woo! Yeah. Look at that. I'm totally impressed. 9.96. That's, the, the, that's, the, that's the time to beat this morning, everyone. <laughs> okay. 9.96. And... And, but this is not just for the fun and the running. Right. Um, we're all donating 10 bucks to go okay. to Daystar. So we will all be donating to raise money. Right. Yes. So. And you can too. Okay. Yes. yes. Everybody watching can as well. And you, yes, yeah. at home can help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Nice job. I, I wish you hadn't done any heels. I was a little worried you were going to do we're some like... damage. You have a wedding coming up. <laughs> Daystar for Medically Fragile Children helps to support infants and children in our area with serious medical needs. And to make sure Daystar continues its amazing work in the community, some local businesses are helping by dashing for Daystar, part of a viral challenge, and we are taking part this morning. Yeah, Ashley, she's actually in the hallway, so she really is here in our building yeah. <laughs> explaining how it all works.
Yeah, the on-air sign, that means we're on. I'm assuming that's how that works, right, Jen? I'm never <laughs> here in the morning. I know, we're usually in there. I know. I know. Kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> Jen is going to run as well with us this morning, but uh, you know firsthand just how important Daystar is. I do. I'll, I'll admit, I, I, when I first started working here, I would sit next to Doug, and Daystar meant a lot to him, and he would talk about it, and I was kind of like, I don't really know what, <laughs> what Daystar is. And then I became pregnant with our, our second yes. child, Grace. And halfway through our pregnancy, we got the word that, you know, we were going to have some major troubles ahead. So I actually ended up going to, there's a big Daystar Derby, their big fundraiser mm -hmm. coming up. And it was just after we'd gotten the diagnosis and we hadn't told anyone. Mm -hmm. And I went to this Daystar Derby and I thought, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I need. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of kids you can send to a traditional daycare, but you, Grace here, you see here, she was on yeah. oxygen, she had a feeding tube. And most daycares aren't equipped to deal with that. And yeah. there's so many complex needs at Daystar. So for parents who have medically fragile children, mm -hmm. um, you can't just hire the teenage babysitter down the street. You, yeah. know, you need a place that can handle yeah. medically fragile kids, and that's what Daystar does. Yeah, so it's really important for you to be a part of this here with us this morning. Mm -hmm. I got my money, so here She's you go. Got, okay, Doug, this will go to you yes. because we are uh, collecting Doug was officially challenged. Do you want me to hold Grace's picture yes. and go down yes. and start? And I want to say okay. you thanks to you Doug down. and his family <laughs> for doing so much on behalf of Daystar because they've been a huge, huge player in making this place what it is into the old location where Grace used to go to the new location right near McQuaid. And before I actually start, I need to say <laughs> I ran six miles yesterday. So I have like that, like that, that sore person stance. So, all right, I'm going to put this down. She's it's still gonna be faster than me. It's fine. We have to do like the stance like this. You stand how you want. I'll count you down. You ready, Jennifer? Yeah. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh no! Woo! Seven point five nine. Look at that. Seven point five nine. She kicked time. my butt. I don't think I can beat that. I also changed into my sneakers, so she, I had that going well, for Well, there's me. Grace for you there, but yeah, amazing, right? So yes, this. This, this. is why we do it. Yeah. Right here. Look, so, she did great. Very Doug, nice. you're next. Doug's next. Yeah. Yeah. I think when, we, when you guys read the uh, time. I just want to mention, too, as we prepare for Mother's Day coming up. She's out of breath right now. Hold on. <laughs> Well, one of the first arts and crafts did is a daycare. So kids mm -hmm. do daycare, uh, mm -hmm. arts and crafts like any other daycare. Um, they had this little, um, like, bug, and they put their handprints in paint. Um, and it was her, her first and only Mother's Day. But mm. it sits on my shelf as, as one of my favorite things Aww. from her, and that is courtesy of Daystar. Oh, so you see, guys, this is huge. We need, uh, you can mm. donate. You don't have to run with us. You can donate with us and help raise a ton of money. Already $8,000 raised for Daystar so yeah. far from the Dashing for Daystar Challenge. Thank you, yeah. Jennifer, and thank yeah. you, Ashley, and thank well, you, you for... You have to run. Are you intimidated by that time? You might as oh, well Oh, there's just, not a chance I can just beat. Just donate there's $40. Not a chance. I, I'm thinking 20 seconds would be good for me. <laughs> As I said earlier, before my knee replacement and my arthritis really set in, yeah. before all that, before I that. was I was pretty slow. Yeah. <laughs> so it is time to answer our question today, which Slower is forty yard trail? forty yard dash related. Yeah, we asked this. Businesses across our area are taking part in a viral challenge, all to raise money for medically fragile children in our community. It's called Dashing for Daystar, and we here at Channel Thirteen were challenged thanks to a certain news anchor. So, Doug Amblage, I challenge you and your team over at Channel 13 to make a difference for the medically fragile children and their families served by Daystar. And don't dash off just yet. You have one week to complete this challenge. Good luck. Have fun. So Doug is right outside our studios here with Ashley where he's about to accept his challenge. Hey, Ashley. Hey, good morning. Yeah, I think it's uh, Jen and I ran before you did, and we really weren't challenged. You were. I was challenged by I was challenged by Marty Musi, the CEO of Which Paychecks. We just folks yeah. just saw, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then I was challenged by my friend Mike Schwabel here. But you, <laughs> you, even though you developed this concept at Dixon Schwabel, you got it all wrong. <laughs> well, our team actually developed the concept. Yeah. Mike McGinnis and John Alhart, and they came up with the idea for dashing for Daystar. So I thought. Put on my best clothes and be a little dashing. Dash, for very dashing. No, I said forty yards. Yeah, dash. I understand you that, that out now, since. but 
But uh, this is kind of my official running out. And we should mention Mike Schwabel is on the Daystar Board of Directors, mm-hmm. has been there for many years. Because of you. That's right. I did invite you on the board. Yes, That's you right. did. Yep. Yes, you did. Yeah. And it's a wonderful, wonderful organization. They got their big Daystar Derby coming up on Kentucky Derby mm-hmm. Day. And what else is going to be at the Daystar Derby? <sighs> Well, I, I, we're what you don't know, viewers, is that Doug and his wife Colleen are very involved in Daystar, and they're expanding the infant room, and it's going to be named after Colleen and Doug Emblitz. Well, we were so honored. Oh, we yeah. got that news a few weeks ago, and that is a yeah. huge honor. I came to Daystar through Colleen, who worked there for many years, and we are still involved, and, and, uh, and, and yes, you are, and uh, happy to be so. And um, now we're doing this. <laughs> yes, now we're doing this. So, so we yeah. have a choice. Now, we have yeah. a choice. Oh, Look you, at this. I, I think he's cheating. No. Yes. These who are shows up for slippery. a 40 yard Shoes. Yes, well, that's... These, these are dashing shoes. Yes. They are very Thank dashing, you. and these yeah. are dashing shoes. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, now, we had a choice, because right? everybody else has been doing, like, one just getting timed. Yes. But we decided that it would be better <laughs> and perhaps more, perhaps more violent if yes. we ran side by side. So that was all Doug for, this morning, by are you the way. Up for that? I, I'm up for anything for the kids at Daystar. Yeah. Okay, and that's the other thing we should mention the yes. fundraising that's component. Right. How yeah, can, that's how kind can of important. People, how can people out there who <laughs> don't want to dash or don't want to dash but want to donate? Uh, go to daystarkids.org. And uh, you'll learn a little bit about Daystar, and uh, there'll be a donate button there for you. Yeah, that's that's so, a good way to do it. Or yeah. you can take on our show. We challenge anybody watching. I was going to say, that's you right. have to challenge someone now. Yeah. Who Did you we... come up with anything? I, you know, I, I, I will challenge uh, my entire family. Oh, okay. Including okay. my in-laws okay. and my outlaws. <laughs> I will challenge all of them and all of their different workplaces, which is a, uh, a cross-section. Oh. I would challenge my son, but he works at Paychex. He might have already taken part. Pro- so, yeah. yeah. Did they do a fantastic job? Or yes. What? Oh, they did a great job. I could challenge my daughter, who's a nurse at Thompson Hospital. I would challenge her oh. to see if the Thompson Hospital crew can do it. Are you ready to do your challenge? They gave me the minute and okay, a half cue you asked for. You can You're take ready? that all the way down. Okay. You keep I'll going. The, you, the okay. start okay. is all the way down there, okay. you guys. Here we go. I don't know how well this is going to go. Are you well, timing this? I'm going to time it, but I'm going to count you down first, you remember, okay? Remember, I have an artificial knee. Well, That's I a two-second handicap. <laughs> okay. A, I right, will count go. you down. I'll no, give you I'm a five-second. Are you ready? Ready? Oh Hold on. God. Ready? Oh, my God. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure who's making that noise. <laughs> Whoa. S- Doug. I don't know if he's okay. Doug. So the final time was 725, but Doug came across first. So you got, it was like six something when you crossed. I'm not even kidding. Really? Yes. That's the, the sneakers. That's the final time. <laughs> Thank you for letting me win. Thank <laughs> you <laughs> for letting me win. I'm surprised they went down the hallway together. Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. (laughs) No one has heard, although that umbrella scared me just a little bit. (laughs) Just a little bit. Yeah. We have more people going to run, right, yeah, this morning? Yeah, we have, uh, we have a couple from our, our, our creative yeah. department yeah. and sales. They're going to come down and run. And Daystar, folks from Daystar are joining us next to talk about just how important this is. And they had the kiddos go in a parade there at Daystar. Yes, they did. Yeah, that so was we're going to be nice. showing some of that video as well to and show anybody can do it. And I will be taking along with Mike the rest of the day off. Doug, <laughs> you <he> looks great. <laughs> he looked great. I was worried about that umbrella, too. <laughs> <laughs> now tell him to get back in here and co-anchor the rest of the show with me, please. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. Daystar for Medically Fragile Children helps to support infants and children in our area with serious medical needs. And to make sure that Daystar continues their amazing work in the community, local businesses are helping by literally dashing. <laughs> it's all part of a viral challenge called Dashing for Daystar, and we are participating in it this morning. Ashley is, is here to explain how it works. Yeah, good morning. You saw uh, Doug. Uh, Doug surprised me. I think he talked us all to set the bar low, but he really surprised me with, with beating Mike Schwabel and doing it in under seven seconds, Doug did it. I was shocked. He's amazing, <laughs> I and know. so everybody has to take up this challenge yeah. and really run as fast as you can yeah. and do as best as you can to make sure that Daystar's kids are champions today. Yeah, now tell folks a little bit about what you guys do at sure. Daystar. Daystar is a specialized center that was designed specifically to support children with special health care needs, and it's a place where they can come together, learn, play, and really discover their potential with other young friends who are facing similar challenges. And this uh, dashing for Daystar, it's very simple, this challenge. Super simple, just challenge a 
coworker, ask somebody to sponsor you for $10 or whatever you want to donate, and then donate it to Daystar and help children with special health care needs thrive. And you, you make it hashtag dashing for Daystar and you post your video. Post your video and then hopefully challenge somebody else that you know to do it. And that's why it's really taken off and we're really pleased with all of our partners, Paychecks, Wegmans, Dixon Schwabel, who originated this idea. Um, but it's really taken off in all of you. Thank you for running yeah. in heels. Yeah, <laughs> you're anything for the kiddos. But when you guys are seeing the videos coming in, uh, what are you, what are going what's going through your mind when you see those those videos? Oh, you know, it's making everybody a champions at Daystar. We did our own little parade, yeah. but we have kids and gait trainers and walkers and all sorts of different equipment. And it was really made us proud to be part of this community that supports children with special needs. How important is it that we continue to support the mission and what the work that you guys are doing at Daystar? Oh, it's so important because of gaps in state law. Unfortunately, Daystar is the only pediatric day respite center of its kind in the state, and there's no funding. So every dollar that you raise through this challenge really makes such a difference. Yeah, and again, it's uh, $10 or whatever you set the goal to be, and we're uh, just shy of $8,000. What would you say to get more folks dashing down their hallways at work? We would love everyone to do this in this community. Our, our community is so touched by children, um, and we're very lucky to have our hospital partners, but we need to support the parents and the children after they come home from the hospital and give them every chance for success. Yeah. So everybody should get on board this. It's really easy. We've got spring fever. Put on your sneakers yes. or heels, yes. as you have done, <laughs> and run for Daystar. Yes. Well, I don't know if my shoes beat uh, my coworker Jackson over here because uh, look at these and the socks and the socks. We got Jackson and Steve. Uh, tell folks what you guys do here at 13. Well, I'm a creative services producer, so um, I work back away from the newsroom where it's nice and quiet, and I uh, sit in an edit bay and edit little videos, and um, that's pretty much what I do. And yes. And I'm a former Olympic sprinter, <laughs> but now I work in sales, uh, and I'm here just to uh, try to beat Jackson. And I would look at those socks. I, I mean, know. how am I going to beat those Bert socks with these socks? Oh, I like the polka dots, though. I mean, it's very classy, but yeah. it's very fast. Well, my wedding dress has polka dots, so I, I kind of favor polka dots. Yeah. Okay, but I got to point this out. Did yeah, you, yeah. and this was not planned. No, not planned. No. <laughs> great, great pants, blue shirt. Those yeah. are running. That's the uh, running. Yes. yes. Okay, so you guys want to head down to the start line, and I will give you a countdown. Now, remember, Doug did this under seven seconds, you guys. I think we can do it. You think you can do it? Okay. When you get down there, I'm going to get you the, the start down. Okay, let's get the stopwatch ready. Okay. They're walking down there. I don't know. I don't know who can beat Doug. That was a pretty good time. All right. <laughs> Jen's ready to go. Okay. I think runners, are we ready? Five, four. <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Wow, he's fast. Jackson did it in five something. Steve in 6.08. Jackson, I, like, it, it hit too quickly. I did couldn't you see even. Me let up? Yeah, I did. My secret weapon. I was going to pull something. Holy cow. You, first off, both beat Doug. Yep. You both beat Doug. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Was, you set the, you've set the, that was now my you. Goal, was to beat all the middle aged men in the office. <laughs> so I've accomplished and my me. goal. And so I feel pretty good about it. But Paul still has to Paul go. Paul still so. has to go. And, and he could be my son. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. See, but this is what it's all about, having fun. We're raising money for Daystar, and we're having so oh much God. fun uh, uh, doing this. My again. Goal, yeah. My goal it's was to socks. beat all the middle-aged men in the newsroom. Wow. <laughs> Can we just recognize that, that Jackson awesome. did cut Steve oh. off? He, like, edged ahead. You think so? Just Let me a little tell you. bit. They whoosh, that was fast. Yeah. Was my own eyes. Look at uh, I give both impressive. those guys credit. Must be Steve, the shirts. <laughs> yeah, it must. It's the uniform. <laughs> the uniform. Power. All well, right, coming up, part two of our interview <laughs> with Alan Doyle. Speaking of twin power. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that those guys with their matching outfits. <laughs> well, who doesn't love a good challenge? Uh, and it's even better when that challenge is for a great cause. Yeah, there's a new challenge going around our area looking to raise money for Daystar. Doug was challenged. So many of us here at 13 have been helping him accept that challenge. And Ashley is with more of our coworkers who are ready to dash right now.
<laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know what's topping that last dash that we saw. I was a little terrified seeing that, but we've got Paul Stella and Alexis Arnold with us. Uh, now, Paul, when I sent this out to the newsroom and everybody here, and I said, hey, we'll dash, and you, what did you say? Said, it is no big deal. I've run these hallways many times, you know. <laughs> I'm a former news producer back in the 90s, back before you would move a video clip by digital means, you would have to run it. Oh, yeah. And so I was not uncommon to be uh, would you dressed wear in my... I was. I wore okay. sneakers a lot when I was a producer just because I knew I was going to have to run. So, wow. yeah. So you sent me a clip and, and kind of showed me. Th that is really what you guys would have to do is well, run. <laughs> well, not that crazy jumping garbage cans and folding. Yeah. Yeah, but, but, would... but it's not that far off. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And Alexis, we kind of peer pressured you into doing this. I think it would be fun. I thought it would be, be funny if I went to my, my car, got my workout clothes on, and was just transformed because today is my workout day. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to run barefoot. Don't show the feet, Terry. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this will be fun. I think we'll do this together. You want to yeah. race together? I think it'll be fun because maybe it'll push me to run faster. Okay. And I'm a little worried because you run marathons. And well, <laughs> I run a couple, yes, but my motivation is I have to be Jackson though because I need to crush his soul. Oh, <laughs> no. Did you hear him when he said, yeah, I, I just wanted to beat the middle-aged <laughs> men yeah. in the office? Yeah. So it's like five, six, five, seven, unofficial yeah. time. I need, to I need to make his existence miserable. Can you do it? No. You think you can do it? I, mean, I both, think I can. We both yeah. were sprinters in high yeah. school. No. That was a long time ago for me. But this is all for a good cause for Daystar. I have pa Paul gave money. I'm going to put on the the, thing, the envelope for Doug. We're raising money for Daystar. We've got um, almost 100 bucks just from us this morning doing yeah. this. So uh, what would you say to get somebody else to run and do this? Well, I mean, it's just the, the fact, I mean, from a practical standpoint, is like there's really nothing like running in terms of actually just yeah. kind of getting your day going yeah. and getting, processing your thought process and, and also to help support a yeah. good cause. I mean, why not? I mean, yeah. this is, I mean, how often other than myself <laughs> do you get to run the hallways of your workplace yes. so yeah yeah mm -hmm. you ready uh, did you stretch no. I was stretching. <laughs> she was. She I was doing some seriously. lunches. <laughs> she was. I'm not that into it. I really. pulled the hair back. Okay, well, you see. ready? I said, I'll put your John Cena at the end of the hallway. And I'll Motivation. Run my fastest. All right. I will go down there. You guys head down right, there, and you I will ready? count you yeah. down. Oh, He's goodness. already walking faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis is so nervous. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, get the oh, stopwatch out here this? ready. I think so. Okay. <laughs> How about you? Stopwatch <laughs> here. Okay. Okay, they're almost there. All right. You can just drop the mic. You're good. You can drop the mic. <laughs> Don't break it. Okay, you tell me when you're ready. <laughs> I think they're ready. Okay, runners ready in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> run so I was <laughs> slipping so I felt myself <laughs> and did you pull something I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> we were gonna say no no, no one was injured in this oh, but no I'll be fine yeah. but yeah I was I, yeah, I probably really should have stretched <laughs> so your lunges helped out they did but I probably would have done a little better if I had on less restrictive clothing <laughs> now I'm making all kinds of excuses but I do feel <laughs> Uh, ready for the rest of the day. <laughs> She's ready. Everybody's awake. Again, this is so easy. You do not have to wait to be challenged. If you're watching and you want your workplace your, your, to take a part in this, you, you take Jackson's coming out. He's victorious. Yeah. He still gets it. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> but this is so easy to do. Uh, get your office together. You've got a hallway. You've got, it can be kind of windy. Just be safe about it. 40 yards. All you got to do, dash uh, $10 or whatever amount of money you want to give to Daystar. Again, helping medically fragile children in our area. Huge, huge uh, thing that we do here. Uh, the only one of its kind in all of the New York State. So we want to help keep support them. So we will uh, be posting all of our videos online with the hashtag dashing for Daystar. And you can do it too. Uh, I <laughs> But I don't know. I mean, I, it's been fun this morning. Oh, boy. <laughs> no yeah. new staff was hurt that we know of in the making of this. No. But for except for Paul, he might be wearing... I hope he doesn't have to end up wearing a, a boot or anything. Uh. So. <laughs>
such a good sport. You need like stuff that you put in like sore muscles. Oh, yeah, like Tiger Bomb. It's gonna smell like My Tiger Bomb. Tiger Bomb. bomb. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or Bengay. Remember that stuff? Remember that? Oh, that smell. Spearmint smell. Oh, oh my gosh. We'll it does right make back. you relax, though. It really does.